Welcome everybody to the fourth round of the 2019 Enduro World Series. It's the Matt Vandifas of Bear Enduro Team and we are ready to go! in Italy for the round number four of the Enduro World Series. Here this place is really, really beautiful. It's massive mountains that are really rich all around. I feel really special here in Italy. I have always good race. The trails are crazy. It's long trail, alpine trail, and I hope it's gonna be really sick, and I know it's gonna be. Let's go. Bueno, ya se presentó la Rayo en 2020, las diferencias respecto al ante el año anterior son las nuevas violetas, que es una actualización que se puede incorporar en las rayones antiguas ¿eh? y lo que nos da es un recorrido mayor de la rueda trasera llegando a los 160. ¿eh? Como veis, esta es un poquito más larga que la anterior y la rueda consigue tener un recorrido mayor y la suspensión consigue tener un comportamiento más, más blandito, ¿eh? más, más esponjoso y bueno, los corredores la llevan probando en las dos últimas carreras y están funcionando bien, no quieren volver a la antigua y todo el mundo que quiera actualizar su vieja rayón solamente tiene que adquirirlo en la página web de Orbea o en su tienda favorita más cercana, así que bueno que cada uno decida si coger la nueva o hasta aliviar su vieja versión. I am the mountain biker since ever. I don't remember even when I start. In the start I ride downhill and cross country because these they were only two disciplines and in that times. But when I discover enduro I fell in love in the moment. Uh, I start with 2011 with races and I'm following since that time the development of the rayon. But rayon from those times till now change a lot. Now is really racing enduro machine. And enduro in nowadays is fast, attractive, full of adrenaline because all the riders, including me, we are discovering the limits of this our sport. And beside the crashes and everything, we have always a lot of fun. 
So welcome everybody to the fourth round of the 2019 Enduro World Series. It's the Met Vallifassa Opea Enduro Team and we are ready to go! So for me Enduro is the connection uh, between a cross country marathon and downhill. It is one of the best way to discover the Dolomites in this case but the, but the world. So the last year I have Enduro trip in Myanmar and it was amazing. So th this is the reason why in the last uh, uh, five, six years we are in love with Enduro because with Enduro bike you can discover everything, you can pedaling, you can have a very good downhill section. So this is Enduro for us. It means traveling the world, getting to ride my bike in amazing places, in the mountains here, in diverse locations, experiencing new cultures, and shredding sick trail. Uh, to me, I mean, look at the view, it's so amazing, and to me it's a little bit of a dream come true to be part of this super cool scene, and everyone here are nice people, good atmosphere, and yeah, to me, I just enjoy it, and happy to be part of it. Traveling the world, racing bikes in beautiful locations, um, yeah challenging riding with the fastest in the world just trying to have fun and keep up with everyone La la, that's a question. Well, let me let me tell you straight into into the eyes. Um, enduro is the race format of mountain biking. So to me, enduro means the race format, the perfect race format of the way I ride my bike with my friends. And how is that? Is that you go to a place, you discover an area, you ride up you suffer on the way up and then you have fun super fun racing your buddies on the way down if you put a timing clock on that part that's enduro and it's sort of a quintessence of mountain biking it's just a definition enduro is a definition of racing the way i ride bikes as i always say in life it's good to challenge yourself a little bit to move to the next level and i think when you end the race and you achieve that goal you feel like a better person or at least a better mountain biker so embrace enduro and have fun guys no es nada fácil el camino que escogimos está lleno de obstáculos y mucho sacrificio pero lo hacemos porque es nuestra pasión y disfrutamos con ello Para mí el enduro es mucho sacrificio, es un deporte que como su propio nombre dice es muy duro, pero es mi vida y me encanta. Es mucho sacrificio porque hay que entrenar todos los días, hay que ser muy constante y no puedes despistarte en ningún aspecto, ¿sabes? Porque hay que entrenar el físico, el técnico, la mente, hay que entrenar todo. Entonces son muchísimas horas de entrenamiento y, y hay que estar preparado para 
lo que se viene en las carreras, que no es nada fácil. Pues a mí las lesiones sobre todo me han enseñado que este es un deporte muy duro y que no puedes hacerlo a lo loco. Es decir, que hay que prepararse y sobre todo si quieres competir tienes que entrenar muchísimo y sacrificarte por ello. Y me han enseñado a, a luchar por mis sueños, a no rendirme y a trabajar duro día a día. Si yo tengo algo claro es que si te caes 100 veces te tienes que levantar 101 y seguir luchando por tus sueños. Esto, por ejemplo, me ha llevado a ganar el Campeonato de España por quinta vez consecutiva hace muy poco. Y ahora seguiremos luchando por nuevas metas. Oh, it's the round for the first stage, but uh, it's the same for everybody, so we'll see. Oh, for the descent, man. It's beautiful here. It's got to be good descent. Girls now in the Enduro series are really, really strong. Um, it's it's really hard work, and we have the same t transition times. We ride the same stages. Everything is exactly the same for the men. But like all the women are really strong, and they like never give up, or whatever. So uh, we're always like pushing and helping each other, and just. You know, it's it's a really good environment and fun and enjoyable. But everybody is like uh, really good riders now and fast. So the level is continually increasing. For any girls that want to ride, there's many there are many groups you can find online or at the, your local bike shop or the trail centres, or come to a race and experience the the great atmosphere you know come and speak to the girls everybody is really welcoming and encouraging and will help in any way to make it an enjoyable time for you at the end of the day all we want to do is ride bikes and have fun So I think that um, actually the key points to win the enduro race it's not only it's not only uh, your riding skills and but and I don't know not fitness level I think it's a combination of everything you need a good bike you need a good team support uh, you need to be fit you have you have to you need a different um, skills on the bikes so I think it's a combine of everything you know so we just got the new rayons for 2020 it's a update version with 170 travel in the back 170 in front stays the same and this bike it's getting more and more capable of uh, riding on the rough terrain i think it's a perfect balance between between uh, trail and duro bike and it's definitely definitely capable of big things you know you can send down some rough terrain with high speed it's really stable and when it comes to the tight, tight turns and sketchy terrain, it's also uh, fast to throw around. So I really like the bike and we just need to maybe set up it properly and it's gonna be perfect.
Vaya carrera hoy, súper intenso, aquí en la Centro World Series 5 en Francia y la verdad es que muy buenas sensaciones y buen feeling. Han sido dos semanas muy intensas con el equipo, corriendo en Italia y en Francia, pero las sensaciones cada vez son mejores, así que nada, nos vemos en un mes en Whistler para seguir dando caña. ¡Vamos!